The concept of using music as a form of healing dates back to the days of Aristotle and Plato, but the kind of music therapy that we know today started after World War One and two when local musicians played for physically and emotionally traumatized soldiers at the veterans hospitals. When doctors and nurses saw the positive responses, they requested that musicians be hired to play in hospitals. Music therapy has come a long way since then. Treatments now can help people with stress and pain management, as well as with the treatment of disorders like autism. Fox 26's Henry Howell has more on that. It's been said by some that music is the heart of the soul. But in this case, music is used as therapy for children with autism and other behavioral issues. Uh, music therapy uses music in, um, in a variety of different ways. It's non-music, uh, most of the goals are non-musical based and it's assessment driven. The kids that I work with love music to begin with and they are able to reinforce the skills that we're teaching through music. We use music as our tool to address whatever functional goals that they're working on. Hello to yes, sir. Believe it or not, music therapy has actually been around for a little over 60 years. Since then, music therapy has branched out, and with good reason. You know, music is a whole brain process. So if part of the brain um, is damaged, since music is processed on both sides of the brain, and we can create new pathways around the damaged areas of the brain to address uh, their functional goals. That may be hard to believe, but the results definitely speak for themselves. It's amazing what the breakthroughs that you can have. Two or three year olds who really, you know, the, their mobility isn't isn't where it should be and their, their gait um, or their standing position, you know, they're a little wobbly and they haven't really taken those first steps, but the motivation is there because you have the music, you have the instruments, and all of a sudden they're taking those first steps. But it's not just motor function some of these kids are working on. The Music Therapy Center is also using music to teach social skills. In a group setting, the music Music therapist will have the kiddos sitting in in a group and we'll work on group dynamics, social skills, communication, um, all the turn taking. Waiting is one of the major things that we work on, waiting and turn taking, because a lot of these kids don't understand that concept. So, you know, it's a good way to teach them that that they have to sit and wait their turn. Now, music therapy doesn't work for everyone, which is why the Music Therapy Center does an assessment to see what each child needs. And if music therapy isn't what your child needs... We can maybe give them a home plan for the families to do music at home. The Music Therapy Center is a nonprofit 501 501c3 center. So their funding comes from grants, donations, and fundraisers, such as the third annual Dance for Autism, which is the brainchild of speech therapist Rochelle Villegas. And it will be April 14th. It'll be out at the Melody Club this year. We have dancers, some of the best dancers in all of Houston coming out. They're dancing all genres of dances. And then you get to, everyone else gets to get up and dance at the end of the evening too. And all the proceeds go to benefit families with autism so they can get music therapy services. So if there's a family out there who needs help but is afraid of what this kind of service will cost, don't worry, there's a sliding fee scale that's used to help determine how much it'll cost. Because a lot of families come in and they're just, they don't know what to do. In a couple of months, they just are so happy with the progress and they're just relieved that there's hope. The well-being and care of those with autism is important, but so is the health of the caregiver. In fact, caring for the caregiver is the focus of a new all-volunteer all group. We're going to tell you just all about that, I should say, next.